Wagwan viewers and subs, welcome back to class. Thank you for tuning in. In this episode of this complete restoration series, we're going to get our primer ready for paint. Now, as we draw closer to the painting stage, right? I wanna share my painting plans with you, with you guys so you can decide if it makes sense or it doesn't make sense. So first thing first I wanna do guys, I wanna get the inside of the doors painted. But before I do that, I'm going to sand down the top and the bottom. So you're gonna prep outside and prep inside at the same time. What I don't wanna do is, I don't wanna go ahead and prep the, out, the inside and paint the inside and then go over it again and prep the outside, which I'm going to have dust everywhere again. I just wanna get everything sanded the same time and clean the same time and ready for paint. No more dust once I start painting anything. I'm going to be painting the car with the doors off the car. So I'm gonna paint the jams along with the outside of the car. So all these areas that I prime on the outside will get painted at the same time except the doors. That way we don't have to put any foam tape in here and then we have any kind of a hard hedge. So we're gonna get it nice and clean inside out. What we need in this um, segment to get the primer ready for paint and the inside of the panels, you're going to need <coughs> some 400 grit sandpaper. You're gonna need your block. I'm using a hard block unless you're going to wet sand. It's a soft block. I have 320 here. The reason I'm going to be using the 320, I'm blocking every areas that I did body work. In those areas, I wanna block them so I can make sure it comes out straight. Then I have my guide coat. I have 600 grit sandpaper and I have a maroon scuff pad along with my soft pad. So the soft pad and the 600 is for refining and these is to do the groundwork. Let's get started. Uh, guys, as I block the primer down, I have a towel, right? I like to sand with a little rag or towel that will basically show me, clean the surface off a little bit so I can see exactly what is going on. Now, if you see here, guys, this is how you want the primer to look at the end of the day. So all of this stuff up here, you know, all of this needs to be smoothed out so it can look like this area down here. As you can see in this area over here, all of this still needs to be sanded out. You wanna sand it completely out until it looks like this area over here. And this is what it looks like after I blocked it down with the 320 sandpaper on my hard block. Now what I'm going to do is in these are the areas, in these areas, you know, I can't really get the block in there or it might take too long. So I'm going to use my DA sander with 400 grit on here to refine and get rid of the rest of imperfections in the primer. Now guys, once you're done with that, you can get a piece of 400 and um, smooth out the edges that the DA is too big to reach. All up in these are the areas. Make sure you get them nice and smooth. And once that's done, what you wanna get now is your soft pad 
and some 600, place it on there, and then you're gonna put it on your DA. And I will repeat this step on every single panel. Now guys, let's move on to the insides of the panel. As you can see here, this is in pretty bad shape. It's dirty and it's messy. And it's just, you, you can see that it really needs some paint. Before I start sanding, I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit with some degreaser. Now, important stuff that you're gonna have to look out for when you go about getting the inside paint. This is your VIN number right here. On each panel, there is a VIN number, which you're gonna have to mask them off properly because you cannot remove it. If you remove it, this, this actually devalued the vehicle, making it seem like you changed the panel and it's not the original part. Now, all of this stuff right here for the latch, you can take them all out i won't be taking all this stuff out just so you know but it would be ideal to have all those stuff removed including the glass but i won't be going that far taking out every single nut every single bolt this right here i will remove it's two 10 millimeter and nothing is attached to it these are really easy to get rid of all right in terms of prepping wise guy all you need is some 400 and a scuff pad there's a slight amount of chips on the edges that i want to get rid of with the 400. <laughs> but there is no need to go crazy in here unless there is actual some real damage in here All you want to do is get your maroon scuff pad no need to go crazy in here you just want to get a little bit of scuffing for your paint to make sure that it sticks now guys in terms of cleaning right on the inside guys all you want to do is get a blower and blow out all the dust. You don't want to start pouring water in here. That's the worst thing you could do, especially when you still have um, parts inside of it. So just blow it out with your blower and clean it up with wax and grease remover as much as you can and do the same thing with each and every one. Just blow them out as good as possible and then on the outside you can always wash them down but before we clean up i'm going to get the rest of the panels on the car ready for paint i'm applying the same techniques blocking it down with 320 grit sandpaper and then refining with 400 on my sandpaper once i'm finished with the 400 i will go ahead and switch and use a soft pad with 600 grit sandpaper to refine the 400 sandpaper scratches
and that is it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoy the channel please leave a like subscribe to the channel so you won't miss great content like this until next time guys class dismissed